Hi and welcome to this short tutorial. In this video we will learn how to read and write geospatial data from and to PostGIS database uh, using Python and GeoPandas. So let's start. We first import GeoPandas and SQL Alchemy. GeoPandas is a powerful geospatial Python library for all sorts of geospatial analysis. Next, we need to set a connector between the PostGIS database and Python. So before starting, let me show you the PostGIS database we are going to read. I like using bgadmin, but some might prefer to access the database from a command line. So right here, we have PostgreSQL database, and inside the database we have two database and I will click this one and if I scroll down to the schemas we have few tables here in fact we have four tables and this is the one we are going to read so let's use the query tool and write simple SQL statements to see the first few rows so select from and run this. All right, this is the table we are going to read. We have many columns, including the geometry column. So if I click this small i, I would see a map with the 10 points. So let me remove the limitations here and run again. Now if I click this one, it would take some time to fetch all the records and there we have all the Airbnb listings in Barcelona. Now I want to read this data in Python. Note here that the name of the database is medium and the name of the table is listings. We also need to note here the address which is the localhost, the port name 5432 and the username which is Postgres. So now we are ready. Let's jump in back into the Jupyter Notebook. So here I need to set up the user and the user was Postgres. Password I didn't set up a proper password so I normally use Postgres. The address was the local host and the port was 5432. The database name is was medium. Yeah. So let, let me run this cell and if everything goes well, no errors. Now we want to read the SQL database, the Jopandas. So the good thing here is that I can create a normal SQL, the same thing we have run here but we are limiting the columns here we would only get these columns from the listing uh, table so now we need to create a geodate frame from this sql statement and the way to do it is uh, you might be familiar with uh, geopandas as read file method it also have uh, from PostGIS method. So if I run shift tab and see the documentation of this method, it needs a SQL query and a connection and a geometry column. And right here we have constructed a SQL query and the engine we have created here connecting to this database. And we know that the geometry column is the geom. We go here, yeah, this is the geom. Now if I run these two lines of code, the listings is a geodate frame because we wrapped here Jobanda's geodate frame. And I can simply call listings.head to get the first few rows of the table. And this is the same. We only limited the number of columns we receive here. With a geodate frame, you can do some further processing if we like in Python, but we are not going to do that. Let's just display this in a map. If I run this cell 
uh, this is contextly which provides a nice base map uh, functionality and this is the map it's a symbol of 150 points I didn't want to overload the whole uh, image and we have uh, a base map from stamen toner light normally we would do some processing with python and you might want the processed data to export to BossGIS database so we have not done any processing so far and i don't want to make this tutorial long so let's say our geodate frame has fewer columns than the original uh, database obviously this is not optimal and i only want to show you that you can export your data from python to both gis all you need is just to call the geodate frame listings we have to post gis and here we need to provide a name let's call this listings clean and we need to provide the connector here so if you look here we had only four tables but look what happens when i run this so when this is finished if i go back here and click on refresh we have five tables so let's let's check if the data is there instead of writing another query i can simply say view edit data for the first 100 rows all right here you see the new clean we named it clean the new listings clean uh, table and this was the original with many columns that's it for this tutorial uh, we have seen how to read data from both GIS database in Python using your pandas and finally we have seen how to export it back to both GIS database if you want after you have done some processing with the data in Python. Let me know if you have questions in the comment section below and bye for now.